don't you think we'd better start back to the ranch? Well, it's only 10.30. It'll take us at least an hour and a half. Well, Annie, it was your idea to come down here to Bisbee. I know. Well, nobody knows us here. You're a big girl now. Curfews for small kids and Cinderella. Father doesn't think so. Oh, he's all right. It's only natural, I guess, for a man who raises his daughter to be concerned about her. Can't rightly blame him not wanting you running around with one of his ranch hands. Well, he used to work on a ranch, too, Mike. He's no better than you are. It's a little different now. He owns a big ranch. It's... Mike. Take it easy, Ann. What are you doing here? What's the meaning of this? Now, take it easy, man. I'm not talking to you. Well, maybe you'd better now. Coming down here... What's your idea, I suppose? That's right. What about it? This is what about it. Please! What's the trouble, Mr. Brock? Him. It wasn't his fault, Sheriff. I wanted him to bring me here. Are you ashamed to be seen with him in Benson? I'm ashamed of your friends always snooping on us whenever we go out. Get in my car. Mine's outside. I said get in my car. I'll bring your car back. You'll Ann. do nothing of the kind. You're fired, Norris. And you know the boundaries of my ranch. And I warn you. And you're a witness, Sheriff. Don't ever set foot on my property again. You can settle this some other time. It's all settled right now, Sheriff. If you ever try to see my daughter again, I'll... Maybe, maybe that's up to her. That's up to me. And if you, you ever... You made your point, Mr. Brock. Come on. Norris, he calls you. That's right. Mike Norris. I've been a hand of his for five years. Well, there's other jobs. And other girls? It would have been better if I'd met you some other place. Oh, Anne, you don't have to be afraid of your father now. Besides, as soon as we're married, I'll be your boss. Why don't you wait here while I go over to the bunkhouse and pack some clothes? Oh, no, I'll go with you. All right. Father, right in. What if he finds you here? Well, I'll tell him hello and goodbye. Anne! Anne! If he sees us together, then I'll tell him the truth. I'll tell him we're going to get married and there's nothing he can do about it. I warned you not to set foot on this property. Now listen to me. No, shut up. Come on, you get out of here. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now I'm going to give you the beating of your life.
Can you tell me how it happened, Miss Brock? He killed him. He killed him. Mike Norris? You stay out of this, mister. I saw it happen. He... Where'd he go? Last I saw him, Sheriff, was when he brought me here. I left him outside the bunkhouse. Well? Carl was murdered. Murdered? That's right. I'll be right back. Norris, one of his hands. Mike Norris, huh? We'll fix him. Let's catch him and string him up before... I'll him. get Norris. That's what I'm being paid for. And if there's any hanging to be done, the law will do that, too, when the time comes. Looks like the time's come, Sheriff. I'm warning you, men. Go back to your ranches. Mind your own business. This is our business. Carl Brock was our friend. Yeah, and we're going to see to it. You're going to get out of here. Now go on. Looks like trouble, Frank. Yeah. Where'd he go, Miss Brock? I don't know. But it's important that we know. No, I don't know. I don't know. Hang on. Hang on. Miss Brock, does he have a relative or a hideaway of some kind? He has a sister, a Mrs. Canfield. She has a little farm, four miles up Buckskin Lane. Is that his only relative? Yes. Yeah. What kind of car was he driving? Ann's car, a yellow convertible. Thanks. Check around those sheds, Harry. All right. Come in. I'm Sheriff Morgan. You Mrs. Canfield? What did he do this time? Who? My husband. Now what's he done? You have a brother, Mrs. Canfield? I sure do. Mike Norris. Not shiftless like my husband. When did you see him last? I haven't seen my husband. Your brother, not your husband. Why? Was he here this morning? No. Do you know where he is? Brock's ranch. That's where he works. Mind if I have a look around? Go ahead. Mike's too big to hide under the bed. Whose is this? My husband's. I thought you said your husband hadn't been around lately. He hasn't. He's got more than one shirt. With fresh blood on it? What do you expect when a man slaughters cattle? Let's stop kidding each other, Mrs. Canfield. Where's your brother? I told you Mike's not here. But he was here. Might be better for all concerned if you told us where he was. He's in pretty bad trouble. What kind of trouble? He killed a man. Mike wouldn't kill anybody, Sheriff. Well, he's not anywhere outside. Inside? He was here. Now, why don't you tell us where he is, Mrs. Canfield? Honestly, Sheriff, he didn't tell me. We have to know. Some friends of Brock's are in a pretty ugly mood. All right. Stick around, Harry, in case Norris comes back. All right. I'll have you picked up later. Good. Fill her up, 
Sheriff? Uh, no, thanks. Did you see a yellow convertible around here the last couple of hours? You know, a funny thing happened about, oh, 20, 30 minutes ago. What's that? Well, a bunch of other guys. They asked the same question. You know any of these men? Oh, sure do. Mr. Armitage. Uh, he's a big rancher in the county. What'd you tell him? Well, same as I'm telling you, Sheriff. That car stopped for gas and then headed up Rucker Canyon. Glad I could help. After what Mr. Armitage said that fella done. Thanks. Morgan calling Bell. Morgan calling Bell. Over. This is Bell, Sheriff. Over. Have Olsen picked up at the Canfield Ranch. I'm heading up into Rucker Canyon. Check with you later. That is all. Where are we going to do it, Ben? Right here. That beam. Ah, the sooner the better. I just as soon won't. You'll pay for this. Every last one of you. You'll never see the day. Hold it. Don't move that rifle. Drop it. I said drop it. This man's a murderer. There's a constitution, in case you don't know it, that guarantees every man a fair trial. We're just trying to save the state a lot of time and money. Over my dead body. Maybe we can arrange that, too. We'll get our chance later, don't worry. The vigilantes went out with the Civil War. Maybe they had the right idea, taking the law in their own hands. That's what I say. He killed a man in cold blood. He's presumed innocent until found guilty. Innocent? When Ann Brock saw her father beat to death, how much proof do you want? I'm not the judge of the jury. All I can do is take him in. For what? Speeding? Suspicion of murder. And don't any one of you try to stop me. You. Untie his hands. Do it yourself. He's your prisoner, not ours. All right, move back out of the way. I warned him, Sheriff. They tried to hang me for something I didn't do. Take my advice, Norris. Keep your mouth shut till you see a lawyer. If he lives that long. That long, he'll live. Now go on home. We've got a right to stay here. There's no law that says you can push us around. There's a law that deals with obstructing justice. I'm ordering you and the rest of these men out of here. Now start moving. Go on. Thank you, Sheriff. Keep him back there, Mike. This is ridiculous. Six of us being pushed around by one man. Yeah, why not finish what we started out to do? We can't start anything here. Morgan's not bluffing. Well, he's got to take the Edgewood Road to get Norris into town. You fellas got rifles in your cars? Sure, naturally. Thought I told you to get out of here. Now get moving. Morgan calling Olsen. Morgan calling Olsen, over. Olsen here. Go ahead, Frank. Harry, I've got Mike Norris at the Goldsboro Ranch, east of Rucker Canyon. Six men tried to hang him, but they're gone now. We're coming in. Stand by in case there's trouble. That's all. Over. off of me. Give me a chance. As to what? Well, what are you going to do? Just sit tight.
Morgan calling Olsen. Come in. Olsen here. Go ahead, Frank. We were blocked off on the Edgewood Highway. I took the old Canyon Road. We're stalled about three miles in. I'll head across and try to reach Highway 80. Need help. Quick. Come on. I can go. In the canyon. It's a dead end. We'll get trapped in there. Oh, we'll never make the highway. This will give us protection. Six against one. Are you out of your mind? Risking my neck for yours? Yeah, I must be. Come on. Stay down. They'll never get out of there. Let's split up. We'll take this side. Okay. Try not to hit the sheriff. Right. Sheriff. Go on back before somebody gets shot. We don't want to hurt you, Morgan. We only want the killer. You haven't got a chance. Turn him over to us or we're coming in after him. He's my prisoner and he's going to stay that way. Sheriff, there ain't no sense of you getting killed, too. I told you to stay down. as long as you can. Well, 
You feed Daryl, take him into Douglas and book him. All right, get going. Thanks, Harry. Sure. Man, I'm sure glad that's over. Not over for you, Norris. Mike didn't kill my father. That's right. The autopsy showed he died of a cerebral hemorrhage. From the blow on the head. It couldn't have killed him. Carl Brock was an excitable man, and he knew what he was up against. Any sudden shock, anger, fear, no matter what, could have caused the hemorrhage. Nobody was to blame, Sheriff. Nobody except Mr. Brock. Here's the autopsy report. All right, Doctor. May I see him? Harry, get Norris out here. City desk, please. Harris? Sheriff Morgan. You know that Brock murder case? Well, it wasn't a murder at all. Hold on a second. I'll let Dr. Greenwald explain it to you. Yes, Harris. Well, that's right. Well, the autopsy showed he died of a cerebral hemorrhage. It wasn't caused by the fight. No, he suffered from hypertension for some time. That's right. Yes. Yes, that's right, Eric. 